Hey everyone, welcome back to Endless Money Pits. This is my 1998 Jeep Grand Cherokee, and today I'll show you how to replace the idle air control valve, commonly referred to as the IAC. The IAC has a tip that moves in and out, controlling the amount of air that gets into the throttle body, which in turn controls the idle speed. The procedure should be the same for all Jeep, Dodge, and Chrysler vehicles with the 5.2 liter V8 from this era. This Jeep has had an idling problem for longer than I'd like to admit, but I didn't think it was due to the IAC because I tried cleaning it a few times and even replaced it with a used one from a friend's Jeep, but the problem never went away for more than a day or two. I thought I had finally solved it in a previous video where I replaced the crankshaft position sensor, but as usual, the problem soon returned. I've driven the Jeep about 100 miles since filming this video, and it's been running flawlessly, so I think I can confidently say that the IAC was the problem all along. Alright, that's enough story time for now. Here are the tools that I used for this job. 19mm wrench, electric screwdriver, and a T25 Torx bit. For this job I also needed a mirror, q-tips, carburetor cleaner, and a new idle air control valve. This is the cheapest one I could find at AutoZone, but they had it in stock and I picked it up the same day. Be careful not to press or twist the adjustable tip. To access the IAC on the engine, we'll need to remove the air hat using a 19mm wrench. The IAC that we're removing is connected to the rear of the throttle body. Unplug the electrical connection and remove the two screws using a T25 Torx. Now the IAC can be pulled out. Make sure that the rubber o-ring came with it and that the new sensor has one as well. You can use a mirror like this to see how dirty it is inside. I had the entire throttle body off recently to clean it really well, but I gave it a quick wipe with a q-tip soaked in carburetor cleaner off camera. It needs to be especially clean where the tip of the IAC plugs the hole in the throttle body. You can put a light layer of oil on the o-ring for a better seal if you want, but I didn't do that. In this situation, I don't think we need oil to get a good enough seal. Install the new IAC with the electrical connection facing the side of the engine that holds the airbox. If you want to torque the screws, the torque spec is 30 inch pounds. Plug it in and reinstall the air hat. The instructions that came with the part I bought say the idle will be high until you drive the vehicle for 5 minutes at at least 40 miles an hour to reset the computer. To be honest, it took a lot more than that. I took the Jeep on 3 or 4 long test drives and restarted the engine about 5 times before the idle miraculously calmed down and stayed that way. I've seen other methods of resetting the computer, so maybe the instructions were wrong, but I'm just glad it worked out in the end. I watched a video about this from Barricade Garage. He says to lightly press the gas pedal while starting the engine, let it run for 5 seconds, turn the ignition off for 10 seconds, then start the engine again and check the idle speed. When the engine's warm, it should idle somewhere around 700 RPM. Once you're satisfied with your fine work, close the hood, cause we're done. That concludes this week's video. If you like my videos, consider supporting me on Patreon or donating on PayPal. I quit my job and I'm not going back. As always, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below letting me know what you'd like to see next. And until next time, just keep throwing money at it.